Welcome, and thanks for joining Basingstoke Salvation Army's daily devotional, Battle Drill. For more information, go to basingstokesalvationarmy.sermon.net forward slash battle underscore drill underscore daily underscore devotionals. Work is a fundamental foundation of human life. But often we separate God from our work, and our work becomes disordered. This week, we explore ways to find God's intended rhythm in our work and rest. Will you join with me as we turn to our passage for this week? It's 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 6 to 13. And today I'm reading from the New Living Translation. An exhortation to proper living. And now, dear brothers and sisters, we give you this command in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Stay away from all believers who live idle lives and don't follow the tradition they received from us. For you know that you ought to imitate us. We were not idle when we were with you. We never accepted food from anyone without paying for it. We worked hard day and night, so we would not be a burden to any of you. We certainly had the right to ask you to feed us, but we wanted to give you an example to follow. Even while we were with you, we gave you this command, those unwilling to work will not get to eat. Yet we hear that some of you are living idle lives, refusing to work and meddling in other people's business. We command such people and urge them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to settle down and work to earn their own living. As for the rest of you, dear brothers and sisters, never get tired of doing good. Take note of those who refuse to obey what we say in this letter. Stay away from them so they will be ashamed. Don't think of them as enemies, but warn them as you would a brother or sister. Amen. Are you a doer? Do you set out every day to achieve, to accomplish, to work hard, to push forward, to make things happen? If so, then I would imagine that at first glance, this passage must feel as if it's right up your street. If there's one thing that really annoys doers, and I speak with some experience, it's people who prefer not to do. So Paul, who appears to be a gold-plated doer, coming along and telling the idol to get on with it, deserves a round of applause. Except, when you look at that word that is translated as idol, it has an odd history. It wasn't translated as idle until 1948, and many scholars today wonder why it's still translated that way. It would be better translated, as the King James Version did, as unruly or disordered, out of line. What Paul is saying here is applicable to anyone whose work-life balance is out of kilter. Human beings are called by God to work, See Genesis chapter 1, verses 27 to 31. But out of that same creation story comes the command to rest. Have a look at Exodus chapter 20, verses 8 to 11. Some of us might need to work more, but many of us need to work less. Our work-life balance is unruly, disordered and out of line. Let's work when God wants us working, and rest when he wants us resting. It's the only way to get back in line. As you think about that today, why not think through these questions? What does your work, rest and worship rhythm look like? Does it need rebalancing? What can you do to bring it back in line? And I hope to see you again soon for another battle drill. We hope you've been encouraged and equipped by this daily devotional. Why not find us on Facebook, Instagram or YouTube 
by searching for Basingstoke Salvation Army. And join us again soon for another battle drill. God bless you. Thank you.